So today I'm going to be talking about how to um, take a file from a, in this case, Autodesk Fusion 360 and put it onto an SD card to then put into your 3D printer and 3D print something. So this is just a little bench that I made that I'm going to, or we might put on our robot, we'll see. Um, but so in Fusion 360, you're going to want to go ahead and click make 3D print. Then it's going to come up with this little window. And you're going to want to um, have selection as that. Um, and you're going to want to click this. It's going to turn blue. Um, and you're going to want to go to print utility. This is where you would pick um, either like, I know Cura is um, a very popular splicer, but I use Mesh Mixer. Um, and then I take that and put it into another program um, because my 3D printer, the company that makes it made a program and it works good for mine. Um, I believe most um, softwares have the make and then 3D print stuff. I don't know if every single software has it though so you will have to adapt for which software you are using. Uh, you're going to want to click OK and then in my case it's going to open up a mesh mixer tab um, and then I want to click export file name I'm just going to name it bench um, and then 3763 um, ok or we'll save and then that's going to be saved to my desktop right here just going to put that like right there um, next I'm going to go ahead and open up the software that I use, that is Flash Print, um, gives me a little notification, I don't really care about that stuff. So I'm um, just going to move that over here so I can get to my file. Um, in this software you can just drag and drop but you can also load um, into, or load stuff into softwares. Um, so for this software, it's not on the platform, and it just is giving me a prompt to put it on the platform. You're just going to want to click yes, going to full screen that. Um, in this, you can do extruder, cut, scale, rotate, move, and view. Um, they just do certain things to your thing, or whatever you're 3D printing. This one just, you know, moves it. Um rotate rotates it scale you know makes it bigger uh, cut that just cuts it uh, extruder in my 3d printer I actually have um, a left and a right extruder uh, so I can do multiple colors and today I'm gonna be using my left extruder because I don't actually have anything in my right extruder right now um, but yeah so that's one thing that I like this software for too. Um, just gonna want to click X on that. So go to support because this is obviously gonna need support with that uh, that over or that like ledge. So uh, just click auto support. Click OK. Um, back. Do you want to save support to this file? I'm gonna click no. Um, oh wait, no. I was supposed to click yes. Sorry. Um, okay, back, yes, and then just save. So then you're going to want to go ahead and click print or whatever it is in your, um, in your software, um, materials for left and right. Like I said, I have two nozzles, so, um, left for me is ABS right now. Resolution, low is fine for me. Um, you're going to want to click on more options and this is where it can see, seem a little scary but um, the main thing that I really just go to is temperature I like to have my platform a little bit hotter um, for this because um, I have a heated bed and it helps with uh, this stuff so then you're going to want to click OK and once you have your preferred settings um, you're going to want to find the SD card that you um, 
that you want to load it onto and then put into your 3D printer. In this case, for me, it is USB drive F. I'm just gonna name it. I'm gonna leave it as bench 3763. I'm gonna click save, and then it's gonna load it on. And with this program, it actually gives you um, estimated print time, estimated material, and weight estimation. Uh, the print time for this one is going to be an hour and 53 minutes. Estimated material 14.5 or 14.52 meters. And if you click on weight estimation, it gives you this window. Um, and the estimated weight is going to be 43.32 grams. So uh, then you're going to want to click. Oh wait, you don't have to <laughs> click anything from here, but. Uh, you're going to want to take your SD card out and put it into your 3D printer and go ahead and go from there. Um, I hope this helped. Good luck with your 3D